in today's video, do this before bed. Hi, I'm Sam Lenny, and I share videos on how to love, trust, and know yourself and to raise your vibration. So in today's video, we're going to talk all about how to prepare and preserve your energetics before you go to bed. So in the last video, I shared how you can make the most of your day by preparing yourself first thing in the morning to have the best day ever. So if you've not seen that video, I'll sit, put a link to it below so you can go and see that. So let's talk about in the evening. You are an energetic being. We are energetic and we have our physical body and we have our auric field. Now, we go through the day with our energy being put into places, into conversations, into spaces, and even just showing up. Um, we're constantly in connection with, in collaboration with, um, in relationship with energy. It's moving, constantly moving around us, and we are it. So that energy um, behaves and works according to our own energy, which holds a certain frequency. So like attracts like. And then when you think about it from a clothing perspective, we spend the day in you know the same set of clothes. And what happens in the evening? We take them off. And they have, you know, dirt, if you like, in the fibers, sweat, etc. So wherever we've been, we've picked up, um, all kinds of things and it's absorbed into our clothes. It's the same with our energy field, our physical body and our energy body. As we clean our clothes, we clean our body. We need to clean our energetic field, not only clean it, but contain it, bring our energy back into us because we will leave it out in conversations and um, to-do lists and in the car and down at work or whatever. So in order to um, optimise, prioritise you, which in this case is also, you know, a prime example of um, putting yourself first and really being very active in your self-care practice. We want to make sure that before you go to bed, you are in tip-top state of being. So bear in mind your body is a sanctuary. Everything that you are or that you are is housed within this, this place here. So it makes sense as we nurture the things that are important to us. We need to nurture ourselves as well. So in order to prepare for sleep, here's my thoughts on this. First off, always shower um, or take a bath. The reason being is you are constantly in contact with earth energies, with energies from source, yet there's this perpetual interaction. If you want to be only go to bed with your own system, your own energetic system, taking a bath or a shower and submerging yourself fully is um, the way to go. Water purifies, clarifies, cleanses. Um, we're made up of mostly water. It's the number one, um, apart from, it, you know, Having, having basic hygiene and using water for basic hygiene is the number one cleanser that you know, shifts anything that you don't want to um, have within you and within your um, energetic body. So showering, bathing, and completely submerging yourself. With all of this, setting the intention to clear, cleanse, purify, you can set that as, a, as a, an intention for yourself and that process will start to take place already. So number one, shower, washing, submerging. Number two is to um, call back in your energy. 
So the way I do this is that I just close my eyes. Sometimes I do this while I'm showering. Sometimes I do this just before I go to bed, but I call back in my energies. Energies, energies, energies. Please come back into my body, my own energies back into my body. Please come in, absorb back into my being. Um, all the fragments of me that I've left out from places and spaces, bring them back into my body now. And you can do that just pausing for two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, as you say it, and you visualize all of your energy coming back into your body. Point two. Number three is you let go of energies that aren't yours. And there's various ways you can do that. So number one is to verbalize it through intention. I let any energies go out of my body that are not mine. Please send them back to wherever they've come from. Um, I now allow them to leave my body. And your highest self, your you know, you're so much more than your physical body, right? It's like an iceberg. What you see here is the tip of the iceberg. There's all this stuff going on underneath. So through the power of your beautiful intention, off you go, energies. Um, go back to where you came from. Thank you. Um, next tip, number four, is that you can if you choose, bring in some of your um, spirit guides, ascended masters, archangels, relatives, um, whoever you feel most connected to and feel, um, you know, you have a, you know, what you would consider to have a relationship with, you know, whatever your belief system is, um, God, whatever, you may decide that you want to call them in to help you to clean your system. So we we do this in Reiki healing. The Dominion do this um, when we they share with me CBL light. Close your eyes and invoke these um, benevolent beings, um, angels, guides, my spirit guides, my highest self. I invite you now to join me and to help me, please assist me in clearing my energy. Clear and cleanse my energy. And just imagine that you've got this bright, bright white light above your head. This light is from source and it is the brightest, loving, most um, pure light and love with the highest good and the highest favor of you call it in um, ask your um, guides to help you call it in and ask it to move all the way through your middle space this beautiful pillar of light within you and picture this light flooding through you as if it was a waterfall it comes straight through the body in the body out of the body and you can spend a minute if you like doing this it's a the more you practice this, the more you're kind of getting get into the zone of it. Um, if you've only got 10 seconds, you can do it as well because intention is everything. Number one, intention is everything. Bring it in. Allow this light all the way through it and just watch it, witness it, it flushing anything that no longer serves out of the body. So this is a kind of second layer, if you like, after you've said, please go. <laughs> so, yeah. And so once, once you feel that that is finished, um, it'll leave your body and then you can thank, um, those beings, source, light, um, to have helped you here today. Um, you can thank them and you can namaste, um, but give thanks, closes that beautiful prayer and invocation off. Um, I like to do this practice as I get into bed and I'm lying in bed and I just watch this happen. The next step to that is then to um, envisage that you've got this golden orb of light all the way around you. So it's protecting, it's a protection, protects your physical body and your auric field. And the way I visualize it is 
this golden orb, but on the outside is like a slight silver color, um, the color of spiritual protection, the color, um, when I, when I feel into that, I feel into, um, Archangel Michael protecting, um, providing a protective layer of energy. And so once that's happened, um, I now feel like I'm ready to go to bed. And that whole process can take a minute, it can take five minutes, however long you've got it to do it is perfectly okay. The more you practice that, the more your trust and faith will, and practice will build in that process. And then, you know, it will become much more instinctive, more automatic. Talking of automatic, your subconscious runs most of your life. So it runs the th your thought processes and all of the stories and attachments that go with those thought processes. Um, and those thought processes are running a program that is based on memories. It's all memory and past experiences. So, you know, we all have um, overthinking at times. And when we overthink, we are overthinking and looking at the world through this filter. And the filter is everything to do with the past. And that's why us, when we're talking about our subconscious, and according to Bruce Lipton, I think 95% um, the 95% of your subconscious is what runs the show, runs your life. So can you imagine it's like every everywhere you go, everything you do, every every thought you think reaffirms what the brain already knows. Now, if we are moving through a process, bearing in mind we're getting all of this beautiful light into the planet and we are ascending and we're um looking at our um looking at our conditioning, looking at our lives and wanting to shift and grow and expand and evolve, which is what the soul wants us to do. Inevitably we're going to keep getting getting pictures, images and thoughts based on the past because the subconscious is running the show most of the time. In dream state, we fall into a theta, a our brain waves um, become less dense, if you like, and we're more open and malleable to um, other energies, other thought forms, other visualizations. We use the senses that are way beyond our five senses. So it makes sense then that when you're asleep and in sleep state, you don't want the baggage of the day or anyone else's baggage, energy, or anything. You want to be in this purest state possible so that you can pick up more information. You can pick up um, more guidance from your intuition, from your highest self. You can engage with spirit. You can, you can have more um, insights, if you like, as to what else you're doing, where else you're going, because you are a multi-dimensional being and you're not just having, this isn't just your reality. You are having other experiences elsewhere. That's why we, um, you know, we travel, we can astral travel, we can be in many places at once in dream states. So it's in order to have a better night's sleep, but also a more intuitive, more evolutionary, more soul led night's sleep. You don't want to have six backpacks on your back. You don't want to have dirty skin. You don't want to have muddy the waters at all. You want to really arrive into that, that beautiful sacred space of sleep. Only you, you and you only just cutting through the crap before you even got into bed. And it is through that state that you can, and this, you know, from experience, but also from, um, clients experiences it's you just have a more profound experience a 
a deeper sense of knowing, um, a wanting to have more contact with um, spirit, with angels, with your soul self and wherever that your soul has been um, in other, you know, other lifetimes. So, yes, the primary intention is to be clean and clear so you can sleep better and you have a, a more sound, more serene night's sleep. But as a, as a result of that, you can connect and get clarity and, and deeper connection with source, with, with, um, energies that aren't physical. Um, and then from a subconscious perspective, when you're in this theta state, you know, your, your mind is, is more, um, it's, it's more flexible. It's open to, um, other suggestions and therefore you know bearing in mind if you've been doing you're doing work on yourself you're getting doing healing you're doing shifting you're doing clearing and you in the in your physical present awake state you're doing work and stuff um, to grow and improve and evolve and, and break down the beliefs and barriers that are getting in the way of your success it makes sense then that when you go to bed and you're in theta state, you're in this subconscious, you know, in this gentle state that um, when you go there, you're actually going there with the the work you've done during the day to re-imprint your neural pathways, to rewire your neural pathways. So as an extension of going to bed, you can set the intention once you've cleared and protected, etc. You can set the intention for what you want your sleep state to be like, how you want to experience that, what you want to experience. And you can ask your highest self, your soul self to show you how to, um, go deeper on a specific topic, how you can shift a, you know, an unwanted belief, an unstore, unwanted story, an attachment to something. And you can physically, you know, say, please show me how, how I, you know, show me how I do this and rewrite those neural pathways while you're having a kip, while you're snoring, while, you know, while you're snoozing. That is a perfect, perfect time to do it because there's nothing else in the way. The day isn't in the way, people aren't in the way, energies of others aren't in the way. But it's super important to protect yourself and to only go to bed with your energies um, so that you can do this work that is... It, just is is so transformative for you and to do it in your sleep you're actually not doing anything you're just sleeping that's your one one and only task overnight is to sleep but can you imagine how how awesome it would be to learn more know more understand more about yourself and your soul self and your purpose here and what your what your plans are and where you're going and how to go there um that is all happening because you ask it to ask for information on it and set the ball rolling while you're asleep. So I hope that was useful. Um, let me know. Let me know what you do, any rituals, rhythms, routines that you do in order to prep for sleep. Love to know how you do that. Um, yeah, and if you liked this video, please like, subscribe, and um, hit the notifications bell for the next video. I'll see you soon. Take care. Thank you.